I'm going to wipe. I'm going to wipe. And oh, 10 minutes, we have a couple of glasses breaking upstairs. See people walking down the stairs, and you say, Here we go, boys. And everybody would just sit there and they would enjoy a night of pot for free. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. It was the, the OG MMA that I got, that I got introduced to. And it wasn't, it wasn't a, a long time, you know, when you're young and strong and you have this ego and you think, This is, this is I'm a Rami Gay pack now. I'm going to go. And uh, I said, Guys, I'm tired of just watching these fights. I think I want to participate. <laughs> okay, my brother helped me to the gap. I'll get you in. He's, he's quite a bit older and he knows the bounces. We get in. And now, as a 17, 18 year old, the trick, you are drinking a brandy. My mom gave me 100 bucks to go to our Hagen's and eat. So it was 25 bucks for a brandy special in Legend. So that's eight brandies for the trick. Yes, that's, that's a lot. Uh, you get the exchange home, you're still going home drunk. And I had my first two brandies and I thought, this stuff's amazing. But I, that guy looked so big when I got in there. Now he's looking my side. <laughs> what's he looking at anyway? You know? <laughs> and I walked up to this guy and he was this proper cocky, group, two-tone, fannies. I said, yeah, what cake you? <laughs> and I know I had my brother's backing. My brother was, uh, he, had a, he made a job there. He was a long boy by the time. I thought, I have my big brother to the check. And this guy says, what? I said, you want to go downstairs? And as I said, go downstairs, he just said, boom. <laughs> and um, the next, maybe an hour later, I, I, I just came to my senses and I asked my friends, yeah, where's, where's Viesa? That's my brother. He says, no, <laughs> he wasn't here. And I just started looking at my friends and all of them were moved so hard. <laughs> and I was the guy to go out there, you know, I was the, the guy that could draw and I said, okay guys, Nobody calls a shit here anymore. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that's how I learned my first lesson. Show respect when you get into the place, you know. Uh, that group ends, don't be fooled. <laughs> um, Lucas, you and Jason Momoa are also good friends. Uh, in the Rugby World Cup, though, you had to be pulled off of life. I mean, you were going to take on Aquaman while the Springboks yeah, well, are playing the All Blacks in the Rugby World Cup final. Yeah, well, I mean, I get very competitive. So, you know, he's obviously a, a, he was a, a key supporter. So, I'm in the old He gets here yeah. yeah, and we get into this um, presidential suite. So, World well, Rugby got us tickets, which was absolutely amazing. One of the best experiences of my whole life. But on the ticket, it says dress appropriately. Okay. Um, which they explained to me afterward means dress formally. For this, for this, uh, I, I dressed appropriately for rugby, and I was there, my, my bock attire, I was there supporting the boys, and um, we get, I don't know, like this um, sweet box we are sitting in is really fancy, and uh, Djokovic was sitting in there, our president wasn't there, if I'm not mistaken, um, Jason Momoa, and then me, but I wasn't the center of attention at all, until we came into the box, and me and my friend, obviously in the rugby spirit, you know, the bulk fire, the bulk leaf, here we go. And I just bought a beer outside. And I get to the door and I'm like, this my ticket. And the guy goes, okay, you can't bring that in there. I said, what do you mean? He says, you're not allowed to bring beer in there. And I said, but I bought it outside. And it's rugby, what do you mean I can't have beer? <laughs> and he said, well, yes, complimentary champagne. I said, it's rugby. <laughs> I mean, if, I was, if this was women, then all for it, but this is not. <laughs> I go, fine, okay, I'm not going to cause a scene, and I take the beer and I just chug it, me and my friend, both of us. So you can already see how the people were looking at us going, what is happening right now? And I took the beer, smashed it, great, and we walked into the um, box, and I just, everybody looks like we are at a pop Everybody has suits on. We're coming in there, yes. People, yeah, let's go. And I'm like, this sucks. What's happening? I'm like, what? These people, but I see everybody's wearing black. I don't know, it's just because the suits are black, but I see they were all keys. So, okay, that means war. We are in enemy territory to World Cup final. And next moment, my friend says, hey, I just saw Jason Momoa. I said, Aquaman. He says, yes. I said, that's awesome. And he, I said, I want to meet him. He said, no, I'm not taking you to him. I said, why not? He says, I know you. You're going to give him shit because he's wearing an all black shirt. I know. I said, I will not. I promise you. I will not give him shit. 
and I get to, and he says, okay, and we get to him, and I go, hey, I'm going back. <laughs> and he looks at me, and he, he's on his phone, which is, I understand that, and he goes, I'm fine. And I stand there, and he's on the phone, and he says, can I help you? And I said, hey, this isn't the water. Oh, man, you like your heart in And immediately my friend is going to And, you know, obviously it was all fun and jokes. And I said, well, why are you wearing the wrong jersey? And here we go in a back and forth. But nevertheless, we go outside of the box, not allowed to take any glasses. So it was the funniest thing is I can't buy a beer in there. And I'm not allowed to take the champagne glass outside. So, this is very tricky because how am I going to watch rugby with a drink if I'm not allowed to take the glass outside? Because now everybody is fancy, right? So, why can't I take the glass? Are they scared of the fancy people starting to stab each other with the glass? You know, instead of, if you have a suit on at the rugby, you're probably not going to stab anyone. So, um, I was sitting there, this sucks. This is terrible. I mean, watching the game, it's the most amazing atmosphere and having no, not a single drink in your hand. And some of our other friends that were there, they were sitting in the block right next to us. And I see all of them with their plastic beer glasses. And I thought, this is terrible. I don't want to be with the fancy people anymore. I want to, I want to be sitting there. And we just called them over and they said, I mean, it's a fence. And I say, bring me beers. So we're sitting in front, outside of the box. And he brings me two. Uh, and I just started bringing more beers. So just bring us the draft and we just put them under the seat. So we, me and my friend are sitting here, we're having the best time of our life. And you just see, there was a video um, that went by because I was saying some nasty words, but they weren't actually filming me. They were filming Djokovic and um, Jason Momoa that was looking at me and my friend going. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it started. But as they saw us having beers, having a great time, I just looked over to Jason after we scored a point, and I was like, hmm. <laughs> and so I'm just looking at me like, <laughs> I said, do you want one? <laughs> and he said, what, really? I said, yeah, of course. And I gave him that beer, and he just went, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he just got all beer. So before we saw it, we just saw all of the guys, Jason, Ramawa, his manager, all these guys were looking at us. They weren't looking at us because they were judging. They were just jealous. <laughs> so we just like, and everybody had a great time. <laughs> Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your questions. Sorry, I just want to get this one.